वेलकम बैक गैस क्लियर ऑप्स के एक्सपेडिशन 33 जस्ट रिसीव्ड एन न्यू अपडेट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पैच 1.5 थैंक यू अपडेट दिस इज द अपडेट लॉग न्यू रीजन वर्सेस ड्राफ्ट्स इन ऑर्डर टू एक्सेस इट यू नीड टू अनलॉक एसके स्टैबिंग एबिलिटी व्हिच विल ओनली बी पॉसिबल इन द थर्ड एक्ट लोकेटेड ऑन द वर्ल्ड मैप नेक्स्ट टू लुमिया न्यू टेक्स्ट एंड यूआई गेम लोकलाइजेशन इनटू द फॉलोइंग लैंग्वेजेस न्यू कॉस्ट्यूम्स फॉर ईच मेंबर ऑफ द एक्सपेडिशन गिविंग even more customization options for players throughout their adventure new boss battles for late game players to overcome in the endless tower added new luminas and weapons added the old key quest to the final area of the game previously obtainable only during the prologue this addition gives players a second chance to collect all journals with a single play through the game now supports a photo mode it also supports fsr4 both upscaling and frame generation I have tested the game on my ROG LA. FSR frame generation worked fine. The game even supports anti-lag too, which helps in cutting down the latency. But on my desktop PC, that has an RTX 2070 Super GPU, FSR frame generation setting was not accessible. Same thing for XCSS frame generation setting. The update also includes improvements for handheld PCs like ROG, Xbox LA, and Steam Deck. Unreal Engine 5 global illumination was completely broken on ROG LA. Before this update I was using D3D12 proxy it's not required anymore this bug has been fixed this is the bug fixes section here it's mentioned fixed issue preventing Intel XCSS frame generation setting from being accessible on PC game pass i think this fix is for Intel Arc GPUs because on my desktop PC that has an RTX 2070 super GPU i was still not able to access in game XCSS frame generation setting even after updating the in game xss files to the latest ones the game is on sale right now 20% off discount in india it's selling for around rupees 2400 on steam in us it's selling for around 40 dollars it's a good deal this game is also available on pc game pass as i am unable to access the in game xss frame generation setting i'll be using optiscaler mod to combine dlss for upscaler with xss frame generation xss low latency mode will also work this way The guide will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. I'll be using OptiScaler's latest preview 7 version 0.9 20251213 build. It's available on OptiScaler's Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description. Just download these two files. .001.002. Click on them. In-game cutscenes are still capped at 30 FPS, so I'll simply use Lyle's Clay of Sky Fix to remove this 30 FPS cap. You can download this fix from Nexus Mods website free. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Features of this mod: remove 30 FPS cap in cutscenes, disable force sharpening. Click on files here. Download the latest version of the mod corresponding to the digital platform. I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game, so I'll download Xbox version of the mod. This is for Steam and Epic Games version of the game manual download under Xbox slow download download will start the game comes with a slightly older version of DLSS for upscaler i'll use nvidia app to override the upscaler to the latest version open nvidia app click on graphics click on the three dots here click on refresh the list will show you all of the games installed on your pc and just select clear there it is scroll down until you find this setting DLSS override model presets click on the pencil icon next to it select latest apply i have already done that now i'll install lyle's clay of sky fix just open its archive file open sandfall folder binaries folder winjdk folder select all of the files present in this directory right click copy just need to paste the files in the games install directory open xbox pc app go to your library select the game Click on the three dots here. Click on Manage. Click on Files. Click on Browse. Open Clear of Sky Expedition 33 folder, Content folder, Sandfall folder, Binaries folder, WinJDK folder. Paste the three files here. We are done. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. I'll use WinRAR to extract the contents of the mod. Need to open the file that ends with the extension .001. If extension is not visible on your PC. Click on File. Go to Show and check the setting. File name extensions. Click on Extract to. Okay. Wait for the extraction process to complete. Done. Close the archive window. 
open optiscalar mods dot 7z file now just select the highlighted files fake and vapi dot ini fake and vapi dot dll fake and vapi will replace the in-game reflex implementation with xcll not using nucom 9s mod lib xcss dot dll xcss super resolution file for dx12 and vulkan apis lib xcll dot dll xcss low latency mode file lib xcss underscore fg dot dll xcss frame gen file optiscaler dot ini optiscaler's configuration file optiscaler dot dll optiscaler mod loader file right click copy open the games install directory content folder sandfall binaries win gdk paste the files here now you just need to change the name of optiscaler dot dll file to txgi dot dll that's it the mod has been installed I'll verify DLSS of scalars details using DLSS debug overlay. We'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Amos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. File. Save. Close. Select the file. Right click. Open yes okay enabling hardware accelerated gpu scheduling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using xcfg but if your pc has an rtx gpu it's recommended to enable this setting right click anywhere on the desktop click on display settings click on graphics advanced graphics settings from here enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling setting my monitor supports vr i have enabled it i'll also enable vsync from nvidia control panel Click on Manage 3D Settings, click on Program Settings, from this drop down bar, select Clear Obscure, scroll down to the end, enable VSync from here, my monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it, click on Setup G-Sync and enable the following settings, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode, enable settings for the selected display model, I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator, this step is optional, click on Display here and check this setting, G-Sync compatible indicator, We'll be using RTSS and Afterburner to show you the performance stats. Just open RTSS and click on Setup here. Scroll down to then. Make sure enable frame rate limiter and inject NVIDIA Reflex Latency Marker settings are disabled. Enable use Microsoft D2's API hooking setting. Now RTSS should not interfere with OptiScaler mod. Now ask the game. In game settings. In this game, if you use DLSS upscaler, characters here won't be rendered properly. Here will look a bit pixelated so I'll be using DLA. Unfortunately it comes with a very big hit on the performance. This is where frame generation comes into play. Reflex it's enabled. It will get disabled automatically when we enable XCFG as XCLL will get enabled. No FPS cap applied vsync of display mode borderless window required for using XCSS frame gen. Game is running at full HD resolution. Post processing effects disable all of them. Post process settings set to low, texture and shadow settings set to high, rest of the settings set to medium. That's it. Hard scale setting is available under accessibility section. We can use this setting to adjust the size of in game HUD elements. Very useful if you are playing the game on a handheld PC that has a small display. This is the continent map, my current location. Show you the location for Versus Trav, the new playable area. There it is, next to Lumiere. Open OptiScaler mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. There it is. Upscaler TLSS version 310.3.0. Input in game DLSS upscaler TXG spoofing off. DLSS auto explorer setting is enabled by default. Render PC to use this K. It's the transformer model of TLSS 4. Frame generation disabled for the time being. I'll just enable OptiScaler's performance overlay. Check this setting. FPS overlay enable under FPS overlay section. Full plus graph. Scale 1.3. Save and I close. I'll just mount SK. Use SK's flying ability. Take off. Gain some altitude. Fly up. Here we go. Make sure I'm flying in the right direction. Go this way. 
गेन्स ऑफ स्पीड कॉन्ट लैंड है आई थिंक दैट्स द लोकेशन फॉर वर्सोज ड्राफ्ट आई कैन सी सम कैंडी मेड इट ड्राप डाउन वर्सो स्टाफ दिस इज इट थर्टी फोर टू फोर्टी एफ पी एस या दिस इज द न्यू रीजन वर्सो स्टाफ फुल ऑफ कैंडीज एंड बलून्स लुक एट दैट सीनरी इट्स अ जेस्टल रिसॉर्ट और दिस एरिया इज वेरी हैवी ऑन द जी पी यू फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव एफ पी एस रनिंग अराउंड एनिमेशन क्वालिटी इट्स लुकिंग वेरी चॉपी एज एक्सपेक्टेड आउटसाइड माई मॉनिटर्स वी आर आर रेंज इन ट्रैक विद जेस्टल्स You're having a good time, chilling. Okay, I'll show you how to enable XCFG now. Just open OptiScaler mod menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG Source and select DLSS GUI Streamline as the option. The game officially supports DLSS frame generation and Streamline version 2.7, so this option will work just fine. We won't be required to deal with HUD fix. Click on the drop down bar next to FG Output and select XCFG. I don't recommend using FSR frame generation in this game. Causes a character shadow to flicker during fast visual motion. Also produces some noticeable ghosting around the bottom edge of the display, close to a character's feet. Save and I close. Restart the game. Play. After restarting the game, you need to enable the in-game DLSS frame generation setting. Yeah, Nvidia frame generation setting on unlock. Just set it to two times. Apply. In game photo mode can be accessed from pause menu. Once the game loads up, just press insert keyboard key. Check this setting active under frame generation XCFG. This will enable XCSS frame gen. Frame time graph will become thick like this. Check this setting debug view. Here you will see these purple side bars flickering if XCSS frame gen is working. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Versus head is flickering. You just need to restart OptiScaler mode in order to fix this issue. अनचेक टी बग यू सेटिंग सेव आई नै क्लोज रिस्टार्ट द गेम प्ले आई जस्ट रिस्टार्ट इट द गेम एंड या नाव कैरेक्टर्स हेड इज नॉट फ्लिकरिंग आई जस्ट यूज एक्स एस एस इंस्पेक्टर ऐप टू वेरीफाई द स्टेटस ऑफ एक्स एस एस फीचर्स मिनिमाइज द गेम रन इंस्पेक्टर ऐप सिलेक्ट क्लियर डबल क्लिक एक्स एस एस फेम जनरेशन कॉन्टेक्स इट्स रनिंग XSS low latency mode context working can see the valid frames getting generated back to the game the fps increased to around 80 can observe the added amount of smoothness frame generation really helps in improving frame pacing sprinting our character shadow it's not flickering fsr frame generation causes it to flicker during fast visual motion not observing any ghosting around versus feed Close to the bottom edge of the display. Games UI elements they are not flickering as expected. Okay, I'll engage in combat. Looking for some NPCs. Don't have the right build to fight against these creatures. Look at that guy, holding some candies, giant candies. I have no idea what this place is. <laughs> Look at these creatures. Okay, I'll attack this thing. Let's see what happens. I'll quickly end my turn. Want the NPCs to attack me? I want to execute Parry. Latency should not be a problem with XSS low latency mode. Look at this attack. Yeah, that was a perfect counter. What is this thing doing? Someone flying candies. Seventy FPS during combat. Okay, these candies fly the shield. Punching attack. Perfect counter again. It's so very good results produced by OptiScale XSS frame generation. You can use DLSS Upscaler to improve the performance, but it will make your character's hair look a bit pixelated. 
This is why I use DLA. Before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. Just need to edit overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select the file, right click, open with notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, save, close. Select the file, right click, open. Yes, okay. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.